everyone so today we're gonna learn about slicer in power bi this is a very useful uh, element rather i can say uh, this is this is a very useful element to have on your dashboard right so slicer is nothing you can just consider as the filters right let me show you some example of it for example if you see here i have my data or values showing over here now if i want to see this value for some specific city what i can do is i can just choose that city name now if you observe the values have changed now it is showing for that particular city only similarly if i want to see for this city i can do that also if i want to see for two uh, two cities what i can do is i can press and hold control and i can click on the other tile so now you see it is showing for multiple cities if i want to remove i can just click on them and that is gone right so this is the tile city if i want to see it for a certain branch only so from here i can choose the branch for whatever the branch i want to see this now you see now in that particular branch if i want to see for a specific gender only for example for female only i want to see so that's what i can also do now let's say if i want to see this detail for a specific time period right so what i can do is from here let's say i want to see it for last one week so here i can come and i can say for last one week right if you, if i want to see it for next one week i can choose next and here it is week it can show for next one week you can do it for next two weeks also right you can change that value similarly if you want to see this information between a certain price range that that you can also do which we usually do while we are doing the online shopping right so let's say i want to see this information for the price range between 29 to somewhere 56 so this is how you can adjust that and you can see it so you see how simple is this so these are the all of these things which you just saw these are nothing but the slicers slicers functionality or options will change by the kind of column we are going to use for a particular slicer for example if you see over here here we used date so here you have different kind of options here we just applied branches um, hierarchies right so this is a different kind of column these are character columns right text columns here you see these are numeric values so for that the best suitable one is slider okay so these all type of slicers which you can use to give the filtering capability on your dashboard to the users now let's jump uh, let's just jump to our next page and let me show you how you can create that so i will start from this kind of slicer right and i will take you further so for that like you saw that was a tile slicer where you were having the facility to choose a particular city how can you create that so for that all that you need to do is go in visualization and here you have this slicer just click that now the next thing is you need to put your column whatever you want to use for this so here i got city so i just click city so this is the default view of the text slicer rather i can say a slicer for the text column now we need to change the style of this slicer so for that i need to come on this select this slicer come on the visualization slicer setting and into this you can choose style right when you choose style this is what you get now you can arrange this right you just arrange this and this is how you are going to get it and just put it over here now you see this thing city this is the header which is not required over here because this is obviously clear that these are the cities right so that you can also do from right over here the city is gone next comes to format these values that you can also do for that the values format are given values styling and formats are given over here if you can see like this okay so over here you can let's just try bold so now you see it is bold now if you want to change the font size it will also increase a bit okay similarly if you want to make it italic or maybe underline that you can also do so all sort of this change all sort of changes you can do over here next let's try to create this type of slicer branch where we can uh, have the drop down and we can combine two columns into that so for that again i'm going to create this take this slicer 
right and into that what i require is branch first of all so now i got the branch also over here but the view, kind of view which i am getting is not the one which i am expecting so for that i require drop down so i go i will go on this format visual format visuals in the slicer setting from here i am going to choose drop down right now here i got the drop down like you can see over here next thing which i am going to do is a bit of for visuals formatting so for that what i am going to do on general and then in the effects i am going to do is let me just first make the header little bigger okay now from here i will just change the font size for header now you see headers font size is increasing now i will also change the font size for values right so here i will change the font size for value that is also changed now you, what you can do is you can go over here and you can choose whatever you want now the next thing which i need to combine with this is and create a hierarchy that is gender right so for that what i'm going to do is in the data pan i'm just clicking this gender button okay now if you come back over here and you see this type of arrows you can see now when you click this it is showing the other values now when you click this it is showing the further other value if you want to create the next branch that you can also next hierarchy that you can also do for example i want to combine payment also into it so what i can do is i can choose payment from here and i can drop right over here now if i come back over here and if i go in branch a and if i go in female gender and if from here you can see all these options right so these are the functionalities which you can do next the if you want to change the style of this expansion button that you can also do how can you do that for that you need to come over here in the hierarchy and over here expand and collapse button and from here what you can do do is plus or minus you can just choose plus or minus and that's what you get over here you can expand this expand this and see whatever you want so i think this is very simple now if you want to change this name uh if you want to change whatever is written over here that you can also do for that you need to go on slicer setting and over here you can see branches by branches and gender currently i'm putting only this name if you want you can write uh, something further as well so this is how we got this style now the next next thing which we're gonna do is create another slicer that is for date so if i come over here for the date what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose the transaction date from here now i got it over here again i need to apply the formattings which i previously applied so what i can do is i'll select this go on home and click on this format painter i copied that format and i will come back over here and i apply this like you can see it has increased whatever the suitable it could be right so now this you see this this has been increased to this label now still i want to increase the font size and etc for all of these things so what i can do is i go on visuals now slice header or values right so in the values i can just click on this like you can see the values values have increased if you want to change the format of slicer also in the slicer you can come back and over here from here you can choose whatever formatting that you want to whatever style that you want to have slicer styles okay now in the general if you if you want you can go and you can in the effects you can choose apply lot of formattings onto this thing okay now over here you see this is date but what we are looking for is something else we we require this format something like this so for that what we can do is i need to select this again go back to the visuals and into this over here in the slicer setting here you have the between time but instead you need to choose relative date now when you do that this is what you get again we would require to increase the font so let's come back over here and change the font now here it is asking it is saying no filter applied right so here what you can do is let's say i want to say next week there is nothing because the anchor date which is a, which it is taking is 23rd so that we need to change so for anchor date to change the anchor date over here you see this let me remove this and let me just try this now 
this is still not working because it is taking for 2023 right so what i can do is i have the data for the month of june 2022 so for that's exactly what i'm going to do june and i will take a mid a mid date of the june so that i could easily apply any filter now if i choose next one week then i can easily see the data changing whatever you want you can do that now we are done with this next thing which comes is having the price uh, price slicer so for that what i'm going to do is i mean you can create from here also but here i'm just going to select this copy and paste control v control c and control v right so just over here now in this i want to use a different column which is price unit price so that i got right over here i'm just going to take it and just drag and drop over here now here i got the unit price if i require this formatting i'll just copy format painter and i'll just click on this i can expand it a bit so that's how it will look little bigger now if you want you can adjust the prices right i'm sorry you can adjust the prices in between etc other settings are also available i highly encourage you go into this and check out the settings for slicer settings instead of having in between what you can do is you can choose less than or equal to also so the moment you do is you have only this limit so you can increase that it will never go bill uh, i mean this particular box is not needed anymore okay so that that is disabled similarly you can choose it for other thing greater than equals to so minimum amount is this and you can increase it to the greater than whatever amount you want so this is how you can use the uh, use the slicers very effectively to make your dashboard more interesting and interactive thank you very much for watching the video wish you good luck